Alright, hello Aquarians. I'm going to do some love updates for the weekend and we can roll over to next week or whenever and see what's going on with you guys. I'm going to do um, six of the messages of love. Those are oracles. And I'm going to do three of love oracles. Sorry about that. And I'm going to do um, three of tarots. Okay? We're going to do the tarots last. I'm going to do the um, six messages of love right now. Okay? I feel like you guys, some of you are just dealing with yourself or you're looking for a new way you're just dealing with yourself right now. And it could be like if you're with your mates, I don't care if they're living with you, you're still probably just dealing with yourself. That's what's best for you. These can come reverse too. And you're getting sideways and reversed. I mean, oh, okay. Well, this wow, this reverse song is kind of good. Third party, something going on. Let's just see. So far, so far, you got two reverse and one sideways. I do sideways too. Okay, you're getting all reversed, but they're good reverse. Okay, okay, that's not. You got it sideways. Okay. Alright. Let's get started. Let's see. I'm going to leave. Okay. Let's do the reverses. Yeah, let's do the reverses first. Let's see what's going on. The Aquarians. Hope. This is the hope card. Okay? I'm going to explain it. I haven't given up on us yet. Now, it went reverse because you have thought about it a lot of times, giving up on this individual. Whether it's your wife, husband, um, girlfriend, boyfriend, or whatever the case can be, lover, or whatever. You thought of it a, a lot of times to give up on this person. And it's almost like it's stuck there. Like it's stamped. I don't know what this person is doing. But it's like you keep thinking, I need to go... Should I go this way? And it's like you're almost like living separate, like you're almost distant from each other. We'll see what's going on. Now, this one is good. This said third party. There were other things that got in the way of us being together. This came reverse, so that means there wasn't anything in the way. It's just silly things going on. It could be spending. Oh, that sun is blazing. It could be spending. It could just be little tidbit things going on in a relationship that's not being addressed, okay? That probably you guys just didn't want to bring up that you should have. But I don't, like I said, I don't know who you're dealing with. You could deal with a person that just don't like conflict and don't like arguing, okay? Um, this is values. That came reverse. We have too many differences. You guys probably don't. It's just that it's just more of something is balancing out the other. Like, say if you spend less and the person spent more, it's, it's, you guys are different. It's just things are just not being addressed in the home or wherever you guys are living. And this came reverse. The chaser. Okay? That's like a um, bee or something. A wasp or something. I don't want to chase anymore. That's why you got that I haven't given up on you. Both those can be worse. Because you, you're tired of this game. I don't know what game is going on. But someone's being... It's like they're, like I said, a one-sided relationship. It's like it's just one side. You guys are together, but it's like this. And I don't think it's meant to... It's not done on purpose. It's just that certain things this person can't get over. It's like they hold grudges. Like they think about stuff from a long time. And when they see you, they like, what? Because I remember what you said last time. I think both of you don't forget about things. And you guys need to forget it. Like you say, forget about the past. The only time you should go back in the past if you're trying to backtrack at something that's making your life better like oh I remember I used to do that or oh I used to that's what you should do don't look back on the past I remember you said that and start bringing up stuff because if you're trying to go forward why are you bringing up negative stuff 
and then you got this came reversed here. I want to have an equal give and take. You're probably doing the giving. I feel like you have a lot of strong values, Aquarians. Very strong values. They could have came from your grandma, your, your parents, your grandpa, or something like that. Or maybe you learned that in school. And you have values you uphold because you want your life secured. You want to make sure it's right. And then when something gets out of line, it's all messed up and wet. And I had to say wet. Okay? And then you got detachment. This, didn't, this came upright. Okay. I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. Maybe you guys take separate trips or you guys just have or separate sometimes just to get stuff off your mind get your head clear okay so don't think they're leaving because they want to leave you they probably need to do that sometimes couples need to take a break I know you're couples and you're supposed to be one but you're not one you're two okay <laughs> you're not one you're two all right I'm going to get your love um, oracles out I'm going to get three of those okay yeah, six is representing love and um, unity and stuff like that. Harmonizing and stuff. Yep, and we were just talking about addictions. Someone's just either spending more or doing too much love. Okay, let's do the addiction card. This is addiction here. Okay. Codependent obsession, possession, controlling, yep. Restraint has a block. You feel like you can't grow with this person, Aquarian. Some of you, it's not, read is not for all. Of you. Oops. Oops. You feel like you can't grow with this person. You guys need to talk, or someone needs to, because I feel like it's too much tension going on to a point where you're just thinking like in about a field. Some of you saw you were just thinking about a field or a grassland. Just to not think about this person. You should talk to someone about this, okay? Or pray on this especially, alright? Because I feel like it's draining you down. It's you're trying to stay happy, but the inside it's like this. And I don't think this person don't care. I think this person was just raised different than you were. And they do things different. Or they had a different learning. It, well, everyone had a different experience in life. And they're just bringing it too much into the relationship. Okay? And this is the golden mirror. Self-observed narcissist one-sided relationship. And I said that. And I didn't even know I had this car. They love you to death. They love you. But it's one-sided. Their beliefs is their beliefs, and yours is yours. But you're trying to... I, I feel like both of you are trying to put... You take mine, and I take yours. And I learn from you, and I learn from you. But no one's living it together. You guys need to... If you are married, you need to go redo your vows. And study them. And if you guys are moving in together, there needs to be some rules written down. And if you guys are together, there needs to be some boundaries. Okay? Because I feel like this person that you're dealing with, Aquarius, is very thick headed. Like a bull. <laughs> like a bull. This is talking. I just said that. But it's like you're talking. I didn't read the card yet, but it's. I feel like you're talking to other people about your situation. It says interested. Conversing more, awaiting messages, arriving, text, call, email, hovering. You, you, I don't know why people do this. I know it seems normal, but I don't do it. It's like when your person's not talking to you or something. You, people just go darn off and start talking, and then it turns into something weird. People just don't want to spend time with themselves. They just don't. It's like they're scared something's going to tell them to leave, and you're scared to hear that echo. Like you're scared to hear the echo. I'm gonna get your um, tarot out. 
It's like you're scared to hear that echo that's going to say leave or do something and you don't want to hear it. I'm going to get on the phone and go call someone and talk to them. That's what you're going to do. Alright, you need two more. Alright. So far you got some good cards in there. I said so far. <laughs> but... Alright, you got Sun card, you got the Magician, and you got the Tower. We're going to clarify the Sun card first. Let's see, Let's see. Sun card. Let's just see. Ooh. We'll clarify the Sun card. Alright. I'm getting a feel of a union. Like you guys are going to come back together. But it's it's almost like you're saying, okay, is this going to happen? Is this going to happen? Okay, man, I'm, you just, man, I'm just making sure. And they're like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. I'm going to get six for you. I'm going to get six. Yep, two of swords. If you got to get to the bottom of something, Aquarius. You got to get to the bottom of something. Yep. You got four of wands and you got king of cups. I'm not going to get that. That just didn't work right. Let's see. You got the sun card. That means that something can happen great. Something can happen great, but guess what? That pride just kicked in. I just gotta find out what you're talking about. What's going on? With the two of swords. I just got you just gotta say it, Aquarius. You just gotta get that or just a second. You just gotta get that argument going on. Because you want to know what the heck is going on. And then when they tell you, you're still talking in their face. You just heard what they said. Just end it all. Just cut it out. And then you got the four of wands here. They're trying to keep it together. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. This time we'll just do this. Are you okay now? That's what they're saying to you. And now that pride, that narcissist pride sticks up sometimes on you, Aquarius. Just a little bit here. It sticks up with this um, King Cups here. You start talking to friends, and I'm going to tell someone what, I mean, you're not going to say that, but you're, you're like, what if this, it's like you're talking to your friends and saying, what if someone does this and all that stuff, and you're telling them what's going on. You know they're going to say, you should leave, you should do this, you should do that. And there you go, Eight of Swords. You're walking back into the relationship with the communication was off and you guys still didn't get it. You still didn't get it here. And there you go. With this Nine of Wands here. You start going around friends and dressing up and trying to look good in the mirror and making yourself feel good or because you feel like you got to do it because you didn't get the clarity that you wanted. That you, you notice that you wanted. You got to understand how your mate communicates. Like I said, no one knows how people were raised or what kind of experiences they had in their life. They probably communicate different, just like people love different. Some people care about things different. Okay? And that's where the understanding comes in. Some card. The some card is that. I know these cards. Are, oh, you got this too. Ace of Cups here. It's like you just booted them out of the way. And I'm just going to talk to them. And hang out with them. And go out with them. I don't. And you, you still don't get it. They probably said they were sorry. They probably did something that made up for whatever happened. And you want it out of the way you want it. You want to hear it out of the way you want to hear it. That's when that pride kicks in. And the reason why this is with the sun card, because it's like it's nothing going on. 
It's just a simple, I'm sorry, let's get back to normal life. We'll talk about it, you know, but it's nothing. You still want to jab at it. You still want to take a stab at it. You pick this person. This is the tower card. Some of you are getting, you just, something is outdated. Something is really outdated in your life with someone. And it's almost like you're just going to step out and just see what the world has to offer. But you tiptoe a little, tiptoe back a little bit. Yep. See? Nine of Cups. Dreams coming true. You're going to start. You want to do something here. You want to change up in your life here. It's like you're getting this vision in your head of something different. It's like you're doing that. Of something different. Yep, King of Swords. You want to stand on what you believe in. And you believe in that traditional stuff. Like what your grandma said, what your grandpa said, or, or what you see in love movies. You don't just lally gag around with life. You want to make sure things are structured. And that's how you are. Like some of you live by the Bible. Some of you, you know, you live by certain things and you stick by that. Some people just don't. They just go with one day at a time or whatever. And that's what you're probably dealing with. Yep, ten of wands, and it's back again, making this person happier, being there for this person when you're getting the short end of the stick. And I'm not saying this is for all of you, but you need to know the truth. And I know when something say love rates, expecting to hear a lot of flowers, but we're talking about real life here. You have your good days, and we have our bad days, but you gotta learn the bad days so you can fix it. All right. I was supposed to get you six. Second. I need three more. Oh, I got three. Yep, nine of swords. It's like you're back at it again. Especially if you see something, you sent something that's not right, you're going to say something about it. If you got three of pentacles, they bring it back together with something. Either a gift or a dinner or a Aquarians, I'm getting dizzy. You guys got to accept what you chose. Okay? Look this Eight of Cups here. You don't need to go searching. Whoever, whatever your person is, that's who they are. That's who they are. You either stay with it, roll with it, or just what, try to fix it or just drop it. Either or. Not that hard. It's gonna be okay. And you got magician here. Well, you two work together. You two work it back out. But no offense, that's in a relationship, according that's in a relationship. I'm gonna get six out for you now. See what well, you know you guys don't see. You guys go back and forth. <laughs> yep, back and forth. Yep, until you sink there. You end up sinking. You guys are back at it again. And I'm going to go by this order too. This is for the magician card. See? Nine of Wands. You're back out there on the scene here. You're not cheating, but you're seeing friends. You're making yourself look good. Whether you're going for riding your nice car or you're doing something. Then you want to go back and have the silent treatment or something so you can get some response out of this person. Okay? 
then you're back at this with yourself again. I feel good about myself. You're self-caring, okay? Then you still want to go back with this Queen of Swords. I'm going by what you're supposed to do. And you said you're supposed to do this and you're not doing that. Get back on that again. And guess what? Now they're not talking. They're probably leaving the house. They probably left. And this sink, I mean, this ship has sunk. And now you're in this battle on your own here. With this Six of Swords. And then, King of Pencils. That's how you are. You get back up. And with period on. That's how you are, Aquarius. You get back up. And that's why your relationships actually last long. Even if they're up and down, they still last long because you always get back up. You get back up from the fight. I feel like this can work. Okay? I feel like this can work. You guys just need to let someone else talk for a minute. <laughs> we heard you. We heard you, Aquarius. We heard you. Right? Let someone else talk sometimes. Or try to believe in them. Try to make things right. And no one prays. Do that. And believe it. And roll with it. We have to deal with what we chose in our life, okay? You guys, if you want to subscribe, you can. I appreciate it. And all you guys take care. And be safe out there, okay? But, you guys, you chose it? You want to keep it? You can. It's up to you. Free country. And you're one individual. You're not glued together. You and that person. You're like this. Alright. Good luck, though. Hope you guys are good. Alright. Bye now.